Every video you create should have something for the viewer to do at the end. This is often referred to as a call to action or CTA for short. They are the key to your video success. I'm gonna explain more coming up next. Before we get started, make sure you click the subscribe button and click the bell so you get notified when we post a new video. We post new videos every Thursday. Your call to action might be strong like those annoying commercials on TV. How about two for the price of one, six pack abs and a date with this guy. Or they might be just a link to your website at the end of your video or somewhere in between. Maybe there's similar to what I do at the end of each of these videos where I invite you to comment and subscribe to my videos. They can also be a question to get viewers to interact with you more. It's important to know that a call to action doesn't always have to be to get the viewer to make a purchase. Most videos go for the sale too soon and ignore where the viewer is in the buying process. It might be better for you to invite them to join your Facebook group, download a free white paper, or sign up for a free trial online. There are three types of call to actions that you can use in your video. Auditory, text, and buttons. You can use all three in your video, but if you do, just make sure they're all for the same call to action. You can't tell them to subscribe and have text that says buy now. If your video is on YouTube, you need to make sure you're using the end screens feature. Now I have a video about how you can use end screens, and I'll link to that in the card above in the description below. And, but here's the hardest part of using a call to action. Your call to action can only be one thing. If you invite the viewers to do too many things, it will ensure that they don't do anything. That being said, if this is your first time here, I invite you to subscribe to our channel. And thank you for allowing us to help you grow your business with video.